Thank you so much for coming out. Um, so I wanted to tell you a couple of things. First of all, we have two five-minute intermissions. Um, and so you'll know those are happening because the lights will come on. <laughs> Exciting. Um, so um, I wrote the show like three years ago, and then I rewrote it last semester and made it more Smith College-y. So more <laughs> gay. <laughs> <laughs> and a little longer. <laughs> um, so um, I wanted to thank you all for being here and supporting me and my actors, Liz Kneebone and Kitty Lixon Lynn, and my stage manager, Melissa Dawson. <laughs> um, and everybody's worked really hard on this show, and they're all amazing. Um, I want to give you a warning. There is a little bit of domestic violence, there's some swearing, there's some mental illness, and dark thematic material. So you know. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. Enjoy the show. of a prawn, and prawns are mommy's favorite. Well, you can't fry up our child, babe! I wouldn't dream of it. We have an ultrasound Thursday morning, okay? Okay. You'll be there. Of course. You won't forget. Of course not. I mean, how many times are you going to be pregnant? This is a once, twice, maybe three times in a lifetime experience. I'll never miss an ultrasound. Good. I'm so excited to be mamas. Me too. You're the incredible. And the bunny. It's perfect. This baby, Ellie, it could be anything. This baby could be president, or an astronaut, or a poet. Siddeley, you could be incubating the modern Shakespeare, or the next Elizabeth Taylor, a New York Yankee. I would settle for a happy baby, a kind person. And our child will not play for the Yankees. If the kid is going to be a baseball star, he's going to pay for the Red Sox. And that is not up for debate. OK. OK, whatever you say. Our life is finally coming together. I love you. I love you, too. And I love our little shrimp and our life. And everything is going to be oh. just. Are you OK, Siddeley? Oh. What's wrong? Oh. Siddeley, are you OK? What do I do? Oh. I'm sorry. 
sorry, Logan. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, it's okay. I'm sorry. How many times is it now? You don't keep count? I... I forget. Five. <clears throat> five! It's been five! Are you okay? I'm fine. Maybe... Maybe we should give it a rest. Why? Because this can't be good for you. Well, I don't care about me. I do. Well, you shouldn't. Wait, we're taking a break. No. You kind of need me to try. No, I don't. You're going to do this alone. I have my ways of getting what I want. No, Siddeley. I thought I was supposed to shut up. Well, you did, didn't you? Oh. Do you really think it's my fault? No. Oh. I love you, Logan. Yeah, I love you too, Ellie. Do you really want to give it a rest? Not really. Do you? What? Do you want to give it a rest? No, not really. Okay, we don't have to then. Okay. What did you break this time? Oh, I don't know. Dishes, maybe some vases. Okay. I'll go into town and get new plates. I'll bet the lady in the houseware stores knows you by your first name. <laughs> they all think I've lost it. Lost what? Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Th you're not. Well, does it matter what I am if they think I'm something else? Yes. Am I crazy? No. Not too much. Enough, though. Yes. Crazy enough. Did you really think I cheated on you? No, of course not. Good. Because I didn't. I know. Wouldn't dream of it. Yes, you would. But you won't. No. I Never. Won't. Never. Do you remember, Ellie, when we were just moved in here and there was that thunderstorm? Yes, it was our first night here in September. And the realtor told us that this is usually just a beach house, so she didn't know how it held up in the winter. And we thought the roof was going to fall in on us. We did. 
So we camped out in the living room. As if would be safer here than in the bedroom. <laughs> and you were so scared. Oh, honey, not nearly as scared as you were. I was only scared that something would happen to you. Hmm, I'm sure. I was warm. Huh? It was a warm summer storm. I was warm. And so were you. I remember. And it smelled like salt water and wet sand. And the air was so hot and full of noise that we couldn't hear anything. We couldn't talk at all. <laughs> we just lay there in the noise. No words, just feelings. It was nice. I like summer storms. Well, they'll be back before you know it. Three years of summer storms. That's why we moved. We didn't even know summer storms existed. Well, maybe we moved to discover them. We wanted to find something new. Or rather something very old. Do you ever miss Manhattan? No. Do you? I miss walking down the street and not having to know anyone. Being an anonymous member of a crowd, going to a thousand locations and preparing to do a thousand different things. A lot of people who don't know each other but all have one thing in common. They're all walking up 18th Street. I don't miss anything besides that, though. I miss being anonymous, too. Walking downtown and not knowing a soul. Being an invisible mystery to the rest of the world. Here, everyone knows us. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. They do not. Oh, Logan, honey, I've broken down at the grocery store, at the book club. I almost cry when I see mothers pulling, pushing babies in strollers. I'm at the doctor's, if not the hospital, every other week. They don't know why. And I've been taken by the ambulance into the ER twice since December. I seem pretty crazy to me. They understand they're nice people. Oh, I'm sure they would understand. But we never explained. So what do they understand? The silly, is a poor, sickly thing that collapses in the public, talks to herself, and basically lives in the hospital? That's what it seems like. They don't know it's all for a baby. They don't know. And if by some miracle I do get and stay pregnant, well, they'll just feel bad for the baby with a crazy mama. They don't know. Well, they assume they do. All people make assumptions. I don't blame them. I never said I did. Then what? I don't like it regardless. It doesn't have to be their fault for me to not like it. Okay, Ellie. Okay. Is it our fault that they assume? No, we don't have to tell them. It's ours. But should we tell them? It's not theirs. We are such isolationists. We are. Is that so bad? Well, it's what we do, and sort of who we are. If that's bad, then so are we. Are we bad? No, I hope not. Does it matter, though? Well, seeing we are great isolationists, no one would know if we were, so I say we aren't. I say that the world is less black and white than it seems, and the gray more enveloping. I dare say that you are right. And you are mine. And the gray is altogether slightly fantastical. I say that paradise is the sound of your thoughts off your tongue. I say that I love you. And I you. Logan, it's positive. That's great! I guess. What do you mean you guess it's positive? That's a good thing! It's the sixth positive. I'm used to positives. Getting pregnant isn't uncommon in this house. Siddeley, don't do don't this to yourself. What? Don't. You can't just sit around waiting for the worst. I'm not waiting for the worst. I'm waiting for the norm. Ellie. 
don't try and comfort me. I'm trying to be positive, but it's really goddamn hard. Just have some hope. Oh, I'm sorry, but you have to hope by yourself. I haven't any hope left in me. I squandered all the hope I have on the last five positives. Why don't we go out tonight? Nope. Why not? Because something might happen. I'm not doing anything until this is sure. Are you going to swaddle the kid in bubble wrap when it's born, too? Oh, fuck you! I, I was joking. There's nothing wrong with going to see a movie. There is nothing dangerous about that. What if we get in a car accident? Then we will have bigger things to worry about. That's true. See, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go do something fun. I'm tired of sitting around the house all the time. Sitting around the house, oh, no. you? Oh, no, what? Oh, no, you're going to yell at me over bad word choice. Damn fine <laughs> I am. You think you sit around the house? You have a job. You go to work. I don't. I sit here all day, every day. I clean, I cook. Oh, you certainly don't cook. Well, I clean. <laughs> the point is, you get a chance to leave this place, and I don't. This isn't a prison, babe. You can do things whenever you want. You can go into town. You can go to the pier. You can go to Boston for the day. You aren't stuck here. Well, I don't do those things. You could, though. You could fix, fix this issue of being stuck, and you haven't. That isn't my fault. I want it to be your fault. Why? So that it isn't my fault. It is your fault, though. It's your fault for not dealing with it. Just go do something. It might be bad for the baby. I prefer to stay no, here. No, you don't. You just said so. I don't like it, but I prefer it to the alternative. The alternative. Miscarrying. That isn't the alternative. It is. <laughs> so it's either sit here doing nothing. I clean. Sit here doing nothing or miscarry? Yes. I guess that's what it comes down that to. That isn't healthy. What isn't healthy? The way it is? No, the way you think. There is something wrong with you, Ellie, and it's freaking me out. Nothing is wrong with me! Oh my god! Can you stop being so self-obsessed that you can't even see what you're doing to yourself for like two minutes? Just fucking look at yourself, Ellie! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm fucking sorry, Ellie. I just don't know what to do. I'm worried, Ellie. You're so sad, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to save you, and I just want to help you. It isn't anything you can fix. But it's there. I can't save you from yourself, no matter how much I want to. I know. There was one time, Logan, one time. I'm so worried about you. Don't be. I'll be fine. I'm always fine. That isn't true. I always survive, and that is what is important. I love you very much, Ellie. Please stop pitying me. I hate it. I'm sorry. Don't look at me like I'm sad and I don't understand my self-worth. I understand it full well. Don't pity me for your own sake, and don't ever pity me for mine. I'm not pitying you. I'm trying to help you, and I have no idea how to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the assumptions. I'm sorry for them as well. The fog should lift soon. They say it would lift before the afternoon sets in. I never believe weathermen. That's probably wise. The world is too changeable for predictions. Hope is a form of prediction. It isn't. I think it is. I think if you hope for it, you think it could happen, and you want it to, and eventually you believe that it would happen. That is a prediction. The world is too changeable for hope. And I find myself in constant disappointment because of that fact. I hope that your disappointment is not constant. You hope. You predict that it isn't. You assume that there are moments when I'm not so disappointed, and you assume this because you have seen something that looks like happiness resting about my face. Does it trouble you I'm good at pretending? It saddens me. 
but it never troubles me as you are not so good at pretending as you think you are. Rude. I do love you, Logan, very much. You're so good for putting up with me. I am just grateful that you allow me to put up with you. Thank you for all this happiness. Is this you pretending? No. My coldness was pretending this is not. I pretended to prove the point. I'm sorry for that. I know you're pretending too well. And I love you for it. I love you. What you got there? Coffee. Siddeley, you know I wasn't it. drinking it! I was just smelling it! And this coffee, you can have as much coffee as you want in three months. Ninety days! Ninety more mornings without coffee. Oh my god. You'll survive, Ellie. True, true. How do you feel today? Fine, I'm fine. Good. Thought of any name? I like Anna, and Catalina, and Lilith, even though Lilith is a little dark, I suppose. What if it's a boy? I like Carter. Oh my god, my turtle was named Carter. You had a turtle? Yeah, when I was five. My mom made him into soup, though. You had Carter turtle soup? Yeah, I did. Yeah, let's avoid the name Carter. What have you come up with? I like Jeremy and Bryce. I like Jeremy. And Bryce is nice too. Any girl names? I like Catalina. And Lilith, even though it's dark. Well, we have three months to choose, so I say it's all right for now. Want coffee? I wouldn't want to deprive you of the scent. Oh, that's all right. I'm quite finished now. Logan? Mm hmm Am I really pregnant? No, honey, it's water weight. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you know you're pregnant. Well, that doesn't mean I believe it. Well, believe me, you are very, very pregnant. And in 90 days, you will no longer be pregnant, and instead, you will be a mother. You put it like that, and it's even harder to believe. I never actually believed it would happen. Yes, you did. No, I really didn't. I hoped so much, but I never believed it. I wanted to not be quite so disappointed when it never worked. But it did, and now we're going to have a baby, and everything's okay. But now I'm not ready, not anymore. It's okay, Ellie, honey, it's gonna be fine. Not anymore. Getting pregnant was the battle. I never considered what would happen if we won. We talked about it all the time, about babies and toddlers, private schools versus public schools, 
part-time kindergarten daycare. We talked about it. No, we dreamt. We never talked about it. We never once opened a parenting book, not even read the titles. You don't know any of the things that could go wrong, and neither do I. We are not ready. Then get ready, Siddeley. You have 90 days to get ready. Don't be mean. I'm not being mean. I'm giving you a deadline. Okay? No, I have the flu! Yeah, at least it's just the flu. Yeah, that's what the doctor told us. Logan, I don't have any of those serious problems, but I could have. What if something happened to the baby? What if I did have listeriosis or toxoplasmosis or, or preeclampsia? I don't know anything. Oh my god, I was so scared. So, so scared. Going to be fine. You should get some sleep. Really? You think I'm going to sleep after that? You need to calm 
down and rest. Well, that's not so... That's not so fucking easy as you think, Logan. I can't just get into the goddamn bed and go to sleep like some excited, blissful, first-time mommy-to-be. Our baby could have been dying or sick, and you want me to go to sleep? No, the baby is fine. No, nothing is wrong. Except... Now I'm thinking about what could go wrong. I'm so afraid. I thought we were out of the woods, safe. But we're not. Something could still go wrong. But it won't. It could. Maybe I'm just not meant to be a mother. And some god is going to strike down every baby I'm trying to create and tell me to stop trying. You don't believe that. That's not fair to the babies. Life's not fair. Touche. Are we going to be good parents? How should I know? You will be. You'll be a great mom. You already take care of me. A kid would be a piece of cake, by comparison. If you want to be a mom, you'll be a mom, Ellie. That's all there is to it. What if I turn into my mother? You won't. But I'm afraid I will anyway. Well, she was trying. Who the hell told you trying was enough? I have to be good, or it won't be enough. Trying isn't enough. Well, it's something. Something isn't enough. An affair is something, but you can't build a life off of it. Some people do. Some people try. Yeah, I guess that's it. Everyone tries, Logan. Trying is nothing special. Fine, fine. Don't try. See where that gets you. Nowhere. That's not fair. Isn't it, Fiddly? I am trying, and you are trying, and someday we will get it right. But right now we are trying, and that's not nothing. It will be nothing if we don't get it right. So get it right!